we were asked to simplify the given expression. Looking at the expression, the first step is to simplify the numerator where we have powers raised to powers. Remember, when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents, which means you multiply the exponents inside the parentheses by one eighth in the numerator. This will give us x raised to the power of six times one eighth, or if we want six over one times one eighth, y raised to the power of two thirds times one eighth. This is all divided by x raised to the power of one half, y raised to the power of one fourth. Let's work out these products on the side. For the exponent on x, we have six over one times one eighth. Notice six and eight share a common factor of two, and therefore we can simplify before multiplying. There are three twos in six and four twos in eight. Multiplying, we have three fourths. And now for the exponent on y, we have two thirds times one eighth. Again, we can simplify before multiplying. Eight and two share a common factor of two. There's one two and two and four twos and eight. Multiplying, we have one twelfth. Which means in the numerator, we have x raised to the power of three fourths, y raised to the power of one twelfth. This is divided by x raised to the power of one half, y raised to the power of one fourth. And now we simplify the fraction by dividing. We can think of this as two parts, the x part and the y part. When dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents. And it's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So for x raised to the power of 3 fourths divided by x raised to the power of 1 half, this simplifies to x raised to the power of 3 fourths minus 1 half. And then for y to the 1 twelfth divided by y to the 1 fourth, this simplifies to y raised to the power of 1 twelfth minus 1 fourth. Let's find these differences on the side. For the exponent on x, we have 3 fourths minus 1 half. The least common denominator is 4. We need to write 1 half as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 4 by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 2. This gives us 3 fourths minus 2 fourths, which is equal to 1 fourth. So this is equal to x raised to the power of 1 fourth. And now to find the exponent on y, we need to find this difference here. We have 1 twelfth minus 1 fourth. The least common denominator is 12. We need to write 1 fourth as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 12 by multiplying the numerator and denominator by three. We now have 1 twelfth minus 3 twelfths, which is equal to negative 2 twelfths, which simplifies to negative 1 sixth. So we have y raised to the power of negative 1 sixth. But we're not quite done because we need to express this only using positive exponents. Looking at the exponent properties here on the left, Notice a raised to the power of negative m equals one over a raised to the power of positive m. One way to remember this property is to think of a to the negative m as a fraction with the denominator of one. And if we move the base of a down to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So for here, if it's helpful, we can think of this as a fraction with the denominator of one. And if we move y to the negative one sixth across the fraction bar or down to the denominator, it will change the sign of the exponent. So the simplified expression is x raised to the power of one fourth divided by y raised to the power of one sixth. This is the simplified form of the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.